Hello guys, welcome to this topic. In this topic, I'm going to explore data. I'm going to teach how to explore data and clean variable names in R software. So to perform these operations, uh, we have certain required packages. The first package is SchemeR. This is used for exploring data, like getting to know the number of missing values in that data, the summary statistics, the number of columns, the names of columns, and all other things. We have the janitor package. This, this contains the clean names uh, function, which is used to clean variable names. We have the tidyverse. This is a very powerful package used to manage and visualize data. So let's go to R and see how this is done. So first we have to install these packages. So let's begin with scheme R, the package used to explore data. So run. So let's wait the package to install. So our package has been successfully installed, but we need to load the package. Remember the Pacman to load these packages. So we are going to add scheme R and load it. So it is loaded. So let's also install the tidyverse package. So install the packages tidyverse so run the package so our package has been successfully installed and I already typed it under the pacman payload so I can just run it So we have loaded all these required packages. Now let's come and explore our data. So to explore data, we can begin by viewing the column names. So to view, use the function names and inside bracket, uh, the name of your data set that you have just loaded in R. In my case, I'm going to use my data three. So run the, the operation. So we have a list of variable names as we saw in our database so we have the data preliminary details date for example so these variable names are too long and we need to shorten them so uh, before we go to the clean names and shortening of names of variables we can begin by using scheme r to know more about our data set before doing anything else just to get to know what what are the number of missing values per column names what are the summary statistics so let's uh, start so to scheme r just write scheme r then under the package we have a uh, scheme which is now used to this which is now the function used to explore this data so scheme r the data is my data three so run the operation now we have the summary of our data set so we have the number of rows which is 999 although the number of rows with values is it's not that one so we have the number of columns which is 26 the column type frequency we have the character character columns we have 10 logical columns we have 10 plus all the other <coughs> information we have about the data set so like for example number one is date and missing is the number of missing values is zero and you can see that is the same for all other the columns we have zero missing values so i will not dwell much on the scheme r you can go 
look at more about it in your free time so what i'm going to do is to use the clean names <coughs> to uh, clean the variable names so under clean names uh, we have automatic name cleaning so autom what automatic name cleaning basically does is to add underscores where we have spaces in the column names because as a good database practice we should not have space between names so basically we have underscores between column names what it can also do is uh, make column names to, to be together so let's start with the automatic name cleaning so to clean your data we start with variable assignment in this case my data 3 clean I will give it a name my data 3 clean assignment operator then um, I will start with uh, the data which is my data 3 then I'm going to introduce a very powerful function by the name pipe so to get the pipe press ctrl shift M so what the pipe package basically does, does uh, it is a powerful function which can be used to perform a series of operations in R so what it will do it will load this my data then go to the other, to the next function in this case my next function is clean names under the janitor package so write janitor then clean names janitor clean names so in automatic cleaning we are not going to we are not going to include the name of the data inside it we are just going to leave it the inside brackets to be blank so run this so after running this we can now view what we have my data three cleaned mm, sorry so we are going to view the names the new co column names whether there are changes yes there are changes um in our previous names we had hyphens instead of hyphens instead of underscores so here what the clean names in the janitor packages does is as done is to replace all the hyphens with the underscores as a, which is a good database practice so what next can we do the other thing we can do is now to rename these columns instead of having these long names we change it for example in in this case preliminary details date we can change that to just a simple date so let's see how to do this so to rename uh, we are going to continue with the pipe remember the function of the pipe function is to run that data in in a fun, to another function then the that function again will push the next operation to the next function so let's continue with the pipe then go to the next function which is rename rename is found under the tidyverse uh, package which is used to rename column names so under rename what we are going to do so under rename let me just write a comment so the first the first one is the new name new name which we are going to assign this variable and the second one is the old name so our first our first new name is date and we are going to replace 
we are going to get that from the old name which is this one the longer name so you can just copy and paste it to give you easy time so our first uh, column is going to change to be changed from this long name to this short name we can go to the next column questionnaire number underscore number so it is going to to replace this next longer column name just control V so we can go to the next one so we have a lot of column names and we cannot do all of them let me do gender so we go to gender it is going to replace the name the long name data preliminary details gender sorry so you can continue doing that for other for other columns so in my case i want to do just a few so after the rename we are going to to run this uh, code in r so go to run so we have a uh, we have an error so our mistake uh, was we did not put commas after the end of each of these so you should put a comma after each line so come here also and put a comma but remember the last line you should not put a comma so after putting the commas now let's run it now that's perfect so to see whether we have changes this we have changed these column names let's go and check the names of this our new variable we have assigned into these operations so run the names and wow our 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 column names which we changed have been changed in this data set so because i also need this column where source milk milk rating and choice no i need this other two so I will add these two columns so just the same way we did with the previous one so just come so uh, which name can we give this so we can take from where source milk so remember that is the question which was asking where, the, where normally respondents get their milk whether from the market from their own cows so just the same way first the new the new name that you need is equals to the old name so just paste the entire name uh, paste it here mm, i think i will also need the choice of milk rating so comma So uh, here I can use milk rating instead of the long column name. So the same way, paste it here is equal to milk rating. Can just paste it here. So now let's run again the code and see what happens perfect all the columns we've changed have been changed uh, so that's all about cleaning and renaming of variable names let's meet in the next topic